Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. I have a special custom bike I'm going to share with you. If you've been following our channel in the past, I've done several other titanium builds, including ones I've never taken any videos of for customers all over the United States. A lot of the builds we do, you know, somebody from out of state uh, doesn't have a local dealer that will bolt up all sorts of cool stuff, do custom paint work or just small custom fabrication. So they come to us for that kind of stuff. And I wish I had time to share more of them, but this one's uh, special to me to, because it's for a customer here in San Diego. But first of all, I'm right next to this beautiful P200 and it's got something special as well. It's got a collection of bird seeds. I think they were brought in by a rat. So on to the subject of this video. Here is a 2020 Vespa GTS 300 Super Sport HPE. It's no longer stock and I'll start from the front and move to the back with all the fun accessories and customizations been done to this scooter. So for the front, it has both the new Rizoma horn cover, it replaces the standard horn cover for the extra sporty look along with the fender crest is patterned after original, but it's got that nice machined look to it. I've covered these in a previous video. Pretty cool parts, very custom. Uh, change out the standard chrome badge for a black chrome badge. Any of these parts, you can look them up in the description. I'll put the whole list of parts that were put into the scooter on the description. Uh, some things were custom or painted custom. They're not gonna be on the list. It's got the black note trim both on the left, left and right side, of course. Has the LED uh, turn signals for both the front and rear. And moving up to the headlight. This isn't the normal HPE, just chrome LED headlight that's found on the GTS. This is an updated version that we'll have pretty soon. Right now, I'm doing this video February 2020. Hopefully soon we'll have this newer style headlight that's got a pretty cool hollow ring. There's a problem with this headlight on the HP. It doesn't fit the HPE uh, 2020 Vespa GTS. So this cover is from the 2019 uh, Super Sport in the same titanium grigio gray matte finished color. So you could buy that factory part. It's a factory Piaggio part for the 2019. And then we were able to put the correct connection on the back of this to adapt the older style headlight. Believe it or not, this headlight works better than the LED headlight that's found on the, uh, the 2020 HPE GTS. Don't get me wrong, I like the headlight that comes with uh, the HPE. It's definite upgrade over the standard halogen headlight but this thing's super cool and has a very nice sporty look to it. Kind of the angry black uh, projector beam, like little beads in there, they look good. They definitely go with the look a lot better than the, the chrome happy looking headlight that comes normally on a Vespa. Uh, onto the handlebars, it's got the Rizoma mirrors, lever set and grip set. These are all original Piaggio Rizoma accessories. And the levers along with the grips and bar ends are a complete kit, replace all the parts. Moving on to the dash, it's just a standard dash, but we've added the, um, a custom painted flat, flat black bezel. Looks pretty cool, a lot better than the chrome, kind of getting away from any chrome on this scooter. Moving down, it's got our machined aluminum uh, bag hook. So much better quality than that plastic one. Vespa Motorsport. And instead of the regular badge that just an S, I think it's from the 2013, 2012, 2013 Super Sport. For two or three years, they had a pretty cool looking badge, just at Super Sport. And this is like a black chrome with a red. And we replaced the standard badge with that older badge, which I think is one of the coolest badges for any of the modern Vespas. Pretty popular badge that we've um, set up on a lot of scooters. We sell a lot on our uh, web store, scooterwest.com. Uh, moving back to the front, you're looking at the wheel. It's got the Michelin Pilot Piers. We went one size up on the tire, nothing special there, but 
these uh, scooters can handle one size larger. So instead of a 120 70, went up to the 130 70 for the front. Uh, the wheel's very unique. This is the Loney part. Um, it's a machined aluminum wheel, a much more expensive wheel than just many of the other optional wheels that fit the GTS, but has a very nice sharp look to it. I really like it because the lines are really sharp on the edges and you only find that on a machined aluminum wheel. And it's got a really deep black anodized um, finish on it. All those little screws kind of give it the appearance like it's a two or three piece wheel. Uh, they're fake, but they look cool. Uh, painted the little center cap flat, flat finish um, black instead of this normal stainless steel color that they come up normally. Moving on to the left side of the front wheel, it's got some extra goodies on here. By Tubo suspension, both front and rear, and a black anodized finish. Uh, this has been painted satin black. Um, it's got the Zaloni. Brembo brake caliper adapter. Customer wanted the Brembo calipers. There's plenty of aftermarket calipers out there now that all work great, but whenever you say the word uh, braking in Italy, usually Brembo comes to mind. And you know, they're the same calipers are used on many MotoGP bikes and very high performance cars, all the way down to the basic Fiat cars. I meant just a big, brake component supplier throughout the world, especially in Italy. So this Brembo caliper is the higher spec caliper. It's a machined aluminum caliper and we get them directly from the Brembo um, distributor here in the United States. Um, replace the standard pads that come with it with a set of uh, EBC double H uh, centered racing pads. So even though the brake rotor is still the original brake rotor, uh, those pads just grab the rotor so much more. So if you give it a handful of braking, still has the ABS system all intact, it definitely has a very powerful braking feel. You know, probably more than the scooter needs. Um, but they're not like super crazy radial calipers you find on a modern sport bike, but they're a definite upgrade over the standard Hang Tong two-piston caliper. Another Sweet Rizoma accessory. This may be my favorite accessory because it's subtle. And that's why I like it. Um, it's the machine aluminum louvers for the radiator exits. Uh, it's got this nice looking black mesh. Rizoma made in Italy. Uh, all machine aluminum just bolts in place of the little plastic honeycomb pieces that go there. Looks pretty cool. Moving on to the passenger pegs. I've done a video that covers these passenger pegs. We sold, sold a couple of them. Um, they work much, much better than the stock ones. Just the, the functionality, they just have a really nice detent snap to them. Um, the position of them isn't the best for a passenger. They just look so much cooler. Um, like I've shared with everybody in the past, there's like foot peg extenders that move them further back. You probably won't want to really use them with these, but if you're looking for passenger comfort, that would be a better option. Um, moving on to the belt cover. So what's under that belt cover? Uh, pretty much a stock engine, but it has the Melosi variator on there. And the formula that works good for a good acceleration is do not install the spring that's included with the Melosi variator. We tried a couple different weights. Uh, these HPE motors are torquier, so they tend to run heavier weights than with the old variator kits. Uh, use on the 2019 and prior GTS 300. So uh, we were playing around with it, but we found you just leave the stock spring in the clutch assembly, you know, that tensions the belt, and you run the 14 gram weights that are included with the Melosi variator, and it's quicker off the line. It works pretty good. I don't really recommend the Polini variator kit in it with the special belt. Uh, we found it kind of rubs on the belt cover. I didn't have much time to experiment with it but not really the best setup for this scooter as I know, considering what I've played with at this point in February, 2020. Uh, as with the front, it's got the Brembo rear caliper. This is not exactly easy bolt on mod. You gotta bend the steel brake hose, the form and fit to 
match the position of the brake inlet on this caliper. Just like the original calipers, two pistons. Uh, the rear one is just more for the looks. Doesn't have any special pads. As anybody knows on motorcycles, you mostly do all your braking with the, not all your braking, but you do a lot of a vast high percentage of your braking if you want to stop quick with the front. Um, has the same wheel as the front, but on the rear, we got the 140, 70 Michelin Pilot Pure tire, dual compound tire. Uh, the wheel and the caliper, they were, had some interference issues, had to mess with uh, trimming some parts to address that. Moving on to this speed sensor here. I need to do a video on that speed sensor soon. Um, What's well, a tone wheel or whatever. Essentially, all it does is it tricks the ECU and thinking the scooter's going a lower speed. And it also kind of corrects some of the speedometer error on the speedometer as well. If you've ridden a new GPS or a GTS and compared it to like a GPS that's accurate with the, the moving speed, at the higher speeds, it's about 10 miles an hour off, 15 kilometers an hour off. It's quite drastic. I have people saying, oh, my scooter does 90, then it doesn't do 90, it does 80. So with that speed, uh, the tone wheel, it gets rid of that 75 mile an hour uh, speed limit that's found on the HPE scooters. Raise it up to about 85, 86 miles an hour. So it's quicker than the old bikes once you put that on there. And I've checked it with a, a GPS. And the cool thing is the motor makes more power so it can pull the scooter all the way up to that higher top speed. Uh, the motor revs a little further, but it's not hitting the rev limiter, so I feel it's safe for the engine. Nothing to really worry about. Uh, for the muffler, very popular option, the Akapovic um, exhaust in black finish. Uh, moving on to the badge, got rid of the GTS 300 kind of chrome and red badge and replace it with a super sport badge. Looking at the tail light and the license frame and the grab rail, these are all custom painted parts by us. These are flat finish uh, clear coat on top of a black base coat. If you watched a prior video to this one, I kind of cover the steps of how we paint stuff, but there's a clear coat you spray on that dries or it flashes over in a dry finish. So that actually has a clear coat on it. So it's well protected. That's not just rattle can junky spray paint. Um, the lens has been heavily tinted, but still is very visible. And then we've added the uh, tinted pair or the whole set of tinted lenses all the way around. So you get plenty of visibility, no issues there. Got our license frame kind of matte, matte blacked out. Uh, definitely look cool if you had one of those black plates. If, if you're from California, it's kind of the plate everybody wants. This is a black plate with yellow writing. Looks, looks pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the grab, grab rail and seat. Just the Vulcan black original HPE style grab rail. The seat the customer took the original super sport seat over to an upholstery shop in Ocean Beach. This is a new pattern of the seat and they had a diamond stitch. They do really high end work. This is all leather, uh, real thick baseball stitching. That place just does top notch quality work. A little on the expensive side, but all I see in that place are just boats, Porsches and uh, pretty nice cars. So. Uh, they kind of got a reputation for doing really high in work. But if you're looking for a really nice seat cover for your GTS um, at a little bit less pri lower price point, that's also um, stitched up with lots of um, good quality and easy to install. You might check out Cheeky Seat Covers. You can search them on Google. Uh, they're pretty cool people. They're kind of cottage industry. Susie is just a couple that just do seat covers for scooters, uh, Vespas, Genuines, Hondas, Yamahas, but they got, they can do custom seat covers with a diamond, um, a diamond pattern on it and they're nice, easy slip covers to install. So just giving them some props. I've, I think I've done it in one other video. I'll someday I'll show some of their work. I like their stuff. Uh, we don't sell it here at Scooter West, but anybody that's got like a little cottage industry doing something to do, do with scooters in the United States, I'm pretty much for that. 
But that pretty much kind of sum, summarizes the accessories that we've added to this Super Sport. And I'll pull up a photo of a stock one. And right next to this one, this thing just looks so much sharper. It's the way the scooter probably should have came out of the box. Um, but they have the Note, which, I mean, I like the Note, but I'm not really into the, the flat black paint job throughout the whole scooter. And it's pretty cool, but the titanium and black is like, I don't know. That still does it for me. It's, it's been around for a while, but this color, but it's still pretty cool. So again, if you're interested in any of these parts that are just parts you can buy, I'll have them in the description. Keep in mind a lot of the parts such as seat and painted parts, those are custom parts that we only do in our shop if we're doing a build for a customer. I'm always behind on paint work, so it's, I would love to have all these parts available for people to buy off the shelf, but it's pretty difficult. Um, we'll slowly trickle out some parts, like little production parts, like we've done with the powder coated parts um, on our website for the blacked out and tinted parts. But just want to share what you could do to customize your Vespa if you're looking for the sporty look. Hope you like it. Uh, until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. If you're looking to buy a custom scooter, you can give us a call 619-280-1718. Um, we're certainly happy to talk to you about it and the pricing and what, what we could do for you and what we have available. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Vespa Motorsport. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out, you know, right now I'm over 500 videos, all Vespa related, mostly with the modern Vespas, a lot with the classic Vespas, which is uh, my pride and joy. I love the classic ones and wish it, I could just have a whole collection of re restored classic Vespas, but I'm pretty busy here at the shop. Robot here, till next time.